Welcome. Today I'm sharing beauty and toiletry empties. I also have a few supplements and a couple of household items as well. Don't forget every time I share my empties, I will let you know if there's something that I would, would not repurchase. Most items are on repeat and I will indicate that. Links to everything that I share with you today will be in the description box below this video, as well as on the corresponding blog post, which is always your top link and the best place to shop from. You can also get my recipes there. And don't forget that on the website, I have a shop my random recommendations page where I have links to some of my favorite things in all categories. So that's a great uh, place to shop if you're ever wondering about something that I've mentioned on repeat. It's probably going to be on that tab on the website, so check it out. All right, let's dive into my empties. Starting with an all-time favorite, the Living Proof Restore Conditioner. I will also link the shampoo. Always on repeat, the Gillette Mach 3 Razor Cartridge Refill. I will also have the Gillette Mach 3, which is a man's razor. If you've been following me, you know that's my favorite. I will also have the razor linked as well. Another favorite, the Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Cleansing Balm. This is the travel size. I absolutely love the Elemis Cleansing Balm. It probably is my favorite, but I will share that because the cost is so expensive, and it's just a cleansing balm. It's just there to remove makeup. I typically don't spend the money and I go with more cost-friendly versions. One being the Pharmacy Clearly Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. This was a fantastic product as well. Again, I still love the Elemis, not only the rose, but the original but you're gonna spend more. The Elemis is great. I also love the Clinique Takeaway. I, I just purchased that one in the regular size and in the travel size when the Sephora sale was going on. This is a foaming gel by Obagi. It's their new Derm line. This was a lovely cleanser. It was sent to me, so it's not something I would spend the money and repurchased. Again, a cleanser is just there to cleanse. It's not actually improving your skin in any way, so I always feel that to save money, your cleansers would be a great area and save your money to spend on your powerhouses, which is your active ingredient products, but this was a lovely product. Glycolic acid, 20% resurfacing pads. I use these all year, year round, and I recently went to see my dermatologist and he actually said I can use these pads every single night along with my retinoid. He said it's, it's perfectly fine to use the two together because I do have resistant skin. So I've been starting to do that. I did go through a little period of some skin issues when my skin was adapting, but we've gotten through it. Definitely recommend these. You would want to work your way up to a 20%. I would recommend starting at a 10% and then gradually working your way up, but I love these. Amazon Basics Exfoliating Cotton Rounds. Skin Medica Instant Bright Eye Mask. This is probably my favorite eye mask for the under eye, just because I like how they stay and, and how they apply and stay versus some of those eye masks that slip and slide. These are great and are they improving? I mean, who knows, but I do like them and often I will put them on under my eye in the morning and then I always do my eye makeup before my face makeup and then I just remove them before applying my face makeup. Here we have my trusty number 10 scalpel for derma planing my face and here we have my Retinoid or ret whichever one is prescription strength. I always get the two mixed up. Retinoid? Retinoid. Retinoid. Okay. Tazertine 0.1%. Been using this forever. It's the highest strength and I cannot recommend getting on 
a retinoid as young as possible, as young as possible. It can help with acne and you will reap the rewards later in life when your skin is starting to show the signs of aging. The ladies that have kept up with a healthy lifestyle and have used a retinoid since they were in their teens or 20s, it shows, it shows. Exuviance Advanced Series Lift Volumizing Concentrate. This was a nice product. I'm guessing it's quite pricey. This was sent to me, nothing that I would repurchase, but it was a lovely product. Here we have Obagi Professional C Serum. This is 15%. I don't really place a lot of value on using a vitamin C serum. This was sent to me as well, so I did use it up. I know many, many women do use vitamin C. It, it, I guess it is considered a powerhouse, but I just stick with my glycolic acid and my retinoid. Uh, so I, I won't be purchasing the vitamin C serum. We also have Obagi Daily Hydro Drops. Basically, Obagi sent me a kit with a whole bunch of products and I did use all of them up. Lovely, like everything, nothing that I would repurchase, but yeah. I have a little tri tri trial, I guess you would call it a little packet, like a sample of SkinCeuticals Triple Lipid Restore and this was this was really a nice product so i guess i would recommend it i won't be purchasing it but it was a lovely product <laughs> moving on to makeup i used up my laura mercier translucent setting powder this is always on repeat i have one open and i have one as a backup because you never want to run out i love this for setting my foundation here we have a laura geller Ink Incredible Waterproof Gel Eyeliner Pencil in Midnight Blue. Not even really sure where I got this. I don't recall ever purchasing it. Um, no need to repurchase another one. I don't really even recall if it was a lovely product. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I'll let you be the judge if this is something that would interest you or not. Here I have a little rubber pad for my eyelash curler. I have two eyelash curlers. I will link both of them in the description box below. One is the Lancome, which I love, and the other one is the Shiseido, and I love that one. So I curl my lashes twice every time I apply makeup, and I use one, and then I use the other. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. But I curl my lashes before applying my first coat of mascara. And then when that is completely dry, after I've done some other makeup things or something else, I curl them again and I use the opposite lash curler <laughs> just to hit it a different way. And then I apply a second coat of mascara. You do want to replace your rubber pads. Uh, first of all, I've had people share with me they didn't even know that you replaced your rubber pads. Yes, I would say if, you, if you're wearing makeup daily, you're probably going to replace your pads monthly and you can buy these in a, in a big pack of a whole bunch of them. So if you want to know if it's time to replace, often you will be able to see it kind of splits down the center, but it will make a big difference. Replace your rubber pad. And then a mascara that I absolutely love, would recommend to everyone, it is just phenomenal, is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes fantastic mascara. Used it today with a different mascara as well because I curl my lashes twice and I applied two different mascaras. The second mascara that I used today, which was the second one, so I used this first. The other one is a little bit more dramatic and it's the City Beauty, I think it's called Beyond Lashes. Very pricey, but wow, what a great mascara, and I will have it linked. Here we have some Q-tips pre precision tips. These are your pointy Q-tips. I use these to clean up my eyebrows after I do after I do my face, my eye makeup and my face makeup before I do my brows 
before I put makeup on my brows or use a brow pencil, I clean up my lashes from any foundation or powder that got on them. So I just dip, dip the Q-tip in a little bit of makeup remover, not the kind that has an oil to it. I take it over top of my, my eyebrows and clean them up and then I proceed to uh, fill in my brows. So ran out of these. And I don't even know if this lipstick is still, I don't know if it's been discontinued, hopefully not because I will link it, but this is the NARS Audacious in Anna. I've wore this shade for years. I actually scraped it out and put the remaining in a little dish so that I could use it up, but such a lovely long wearing lipstick in a beautiful color. Moving on to my absolute favorite deodorant, Donna Karen Cashmere Mist, the best. I have three of these Cetaphil moisturizing creams. Paul and I both use these. I did a body care favorites and even a tutorial a couple of months ago. I did a video. I can have the, I will link that video, but we both love this product for body. It was recommended my, by my dermatologist, so we both love it for body and it's great for face as well. If you're looking for just a really great moisturizer, definitely recommend and there's no scent to it. So if you wear fragrance and you don't want anything to mix together, perfect for that as well. Hair styling products, absolutely love and recommend this Joico Power Whip Whipped Foam Mousse. This is my mousse of choice. I also like the Living Proof Mousse. I think it's called Thickening Mousse. I will have that one linked as well, but this is a lovely product. My Hair stylist uses this on my hair and I'm, I really love it. She really loves it. So I've been purchasing this for a couple of years now. Always on repeat, cannot be without Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast. I always use it on first day styled hair. So I did today. I'm not a fan of first day styled hair. I'm, I'm already feeling like it wants to get in my face. It just doesn't hold as good but um, I do use this on other days as well. So this is just, oh, I've been talking about it for years and I still love it. I also have the Verb texturizing or volumizing spray. That's a great one as well. And I have that one. I believe I purchased the Verb one to put in the guest bedroom and bathroom for when my daughter comes home and I sometimes will sneak up there and use it just for a change. So that's another great one and I will link it. L'Oreal Paris L Net. <laughs> Does this bring back some memories? Let me know in the comment section below if this brings back some memories. I don't know if the younger generations even know the history of this, but I do feel like this is a hairspray to have on hand. I'm sure if you do anything in television, you would have this. It is great because it will hold. It will hold things in place when something else won't, but I, I always have it for when I need it in a pinch, so definitely recommend. I have a couple of fragrances here. The Tom Ford Neroli, wonderful one. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. The Replica line is beautiful, and here is Flower Market. I love all of the replica scents, so you can't go wrong with any of them. And this one is by Toka or Taka, and it is Julieta. So these were all lovely if you're in the market and you're looking for a Mother's Day gift. Those are great scents to take a look at. Opalescence Go Hydrogen Peroxide Tooth Whitening System. Been using this for years very pleased with it, will continue. I use these trays about twice per week, sometimes once per week, um, but usually two. And Retainer Bright Cleaning Tablets. This is what I use, Paul, Chloe, we all use these tablets to, to clean our permanent trays from having Invisalign. Paul and I had Invisalign, Chloe had traditional braces, but we all have a permanent tray and we use these cleaning tabs to keep our trays clean. Thong Panty Liners by Carefree. And I no longer have to buy these. 
Poise Impressa Bladder Supports. No longer needed, and I celebrate that win. <laughs> I celebrate that win. When this video goes out, I will be, I believe, eight weeks post-surgery, and wow, it's just been great. No leaking, no, uh, love, love, love it all. Moving on to supplements, vitamin B12, always on repeat. Digestive enzyme, always on repeat, but right, I've switched out and now I'm doing a whole digestive enzyme stack. So I've changed it a little bit, I'll keep you posted. We have some calcium on repeat. As you get my age, calcium tablets are very important. Uh, supplement and there's D3 in these. I also do take a D3 supplement. Vitamin C always on repeat. Magnesium L3 and 8 is what I take at bedtime on repeat. Another supplement that's always on repeat is my Transparent Labs BCAA glutamine and I have sour green apple. All of them taste wonderful. I take advantage of this supplement two times per day, once in the morning, post-workout, and once in the afternoon or evening. Have a Sharpie, used up, love it. Wait a minute, <laughs> that's not the used up one, this one is. <laughs> See, I always have a Sharpie around me, right? Which one? I don't wanna throw away, no, it's this one. <laughs> this one is being thrown away, this one is not. <laughs> And then same with my zebra pens. <laughs> these two are not working, but I always have one by me. So these are always on repeat as well. <laughs> and then and then last but not least, this is a little add-on to my daily devotional. This is the 40 days of letting go. This was a little devotional that I read during the Lenten season and it was great so next year stay tuned you'll probably have an opportunity if you take advantage of subscribing to the daily devotion booklets that i get year round i've been getting them for a couple of years and i really love them they will give you opportunities to uh, get these other little publications and I really enjoyed this one during the Lenten season. I will have a link to the website where you can uh, get a subscription, get, get, get your daily devotions basically. All right, there you go. That's everything in my empties. Don't forget links to everything will be in the description box below this video. Any blog post or videos that complement or that I mentioned will be in the description box and on the corresponding blog post, which is always your top link. So check it out. <laughs>